Your brain is making an assumption right now. Hmm? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Lab, where we take your questions and turn them into experiments. My name is Greg. And I'm Mitch, and today we're gonna to be talking about cool illusions and why we love them so much. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of weird stuff to our brains and yours. Let's start off with the thing that humans do really well. Our brains have evolved to pick up patterns. So for example, there's a tiger hiding in amongst grass and it's camouflaged like my coat. Then what will happen is that our brains will be able to actually focus on the important aspects and see the tiger. And obviously this makes sense. Our brains have evolved to do this because it helps us evolutionarily. But interestingly, your brain actually wants to ignore all the other information. It's receiving so much and it's trying to pick out what's important and what's not. And so the stuff that's not, it tries to get rid of. So this illusion is gonna be called Spot the Difference. We haven't actually seen these images yet, but basically it's gonna be a flashing image and each time it flashes, one thing changes back and forth and we've gotta spot what that thing is spot with Spot the you. difference. Okay, we've got a uh, helicopter. It's like Vietnam or something? Wait, oh, oh, I... What? <laughs> is it someone in the helicopter? <laughs> Well, and it's funny because once you see it, it's like all you can see. <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, how do you not see it? But Oh, the shadow! Yeah, the shadow, yeah! The yeah. Shadow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that took wow. you about okay, a whole yeah. minute. Yeah. I'm curious, let us know how long these take you in the comments. Ooh, tourism! Oh, I thought you spotted it already, okay. So we've got, uh, yeah, we've got they're like in France. Corner. No. Fair, paying out, they're in New York. See, this is the thing, I shouldn't be Yeah, no, like, find the thing that's Yeah, I'm like, ooh, cool image. I cannot see anything. Like it's like a pattern in the fence. No. Is it? Oh, oh, I just saw it. <laughs> That is weird how it took me so long. What? I'm not good at this. What does that mean? I'm like, I would have died You're not so very fast. Observant. If I was like a primitive human, I would have just been like, oh, that's a cute car. <laughs> this one's interesting because there are so many faces and things that you would expect to change. Like people walking, your brain is like, are they moving? The, the light is something that could change. The cars could be moving, but it's something that you don't necessarily always anticipate. And your brain's actually making these assumptions that these are the things that make sense to move or my eye automatically goes to the words and the people. But okay, I give up. Okay, it's on the car, the window, like the reflection on that is changing back and forth. Oh my gosh. Right? That is it? Yeah. <laughs> but that was like discreet because it wasn't an object. I'm surprised like, you even saw that. It, Next GIF. Okay, yeah. GIF. Okay, I got a nice boat seat. All these oh, images are it. like from the 90s. Got it. <laughs> So my brain is not working. No, how does it feel? I haven't How's tried. How does it feel, Greg? <laughs> my brain is right now going to probably look at the human, or look at the words, or look at the things it's evolutionarily wanting to do. But I know this is an illusion, and so I need to try and find the things that probably won't move because <laughs> I've learned. Oh, the blue box. Yeah, so the blue box on the screen disappears. And, and they do a really good job because the water is behind it, so it's a natural piece that goes, I guess that's part of the solution in that it's replaced by something that seems normal. Yeah, no, like totally, that's an interesting one. Those illusions work because our brains have evolved to focus on things that they think are important. And in fact, leaving and making assumptions about all the things it deems as not important. So now it's time to take a look at how our brain makes some wrong assumptions. We have a variation of something called the moire illusion. And so if we stick these together, you'll start to see something happen. So in this optical illusion, you actually see six different, somewhat similar dinosaurs as one static image. But as soon as you put this grid over top, your brain is tricked into thinking that it's one dinosaur that's moving. So actually, when they first thought of the concept of film and entertainment for us humans, there was something <laughs> called a zoetrope, which essentially was a static were static images that were in this like circular little machine that would spin and it would create movement. So the fir this would have been the first ever Jurassic Park. People would have lined up with popcorn just to see this. <laughs> They'd have been like, what? <laughs> it's all tricking your brain. Okay, so we are here at Ubisoft. We are gonna do some more tricks to your brain. So let's go on inside. So Ubisoft is maybe most famous for their games, Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell. And Just Dance. And Just Dance, lots of good games. games. Um, but what's most exciting is this motion capture system where they're able to suit us up and then track all of our movement to be in sync with the characters on screen. So we're gonna have a little fun doing that right now. Blue Steel, okay. <laughs> so these are the motion capture suits. Look at that. We need to put on these. This is a new fashion. Do a spin? I honestly feel like Bjork. Is that a good sign? <laughs> 
super into this, and I think, oh, we put gloves and these on, and then I think we're good to go. How do you decide which spots exactly you're gonna put them on? Um, we, we know, uh, we kind of have a setup that where we usually put them. Okay. So the top, this one marker here, it's called the top of the spine. This one's your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we've taken out a bunch of Greg's points. He's gonna redo some of those actions that we did before, but even less information, and we're gonna see if we can still tell the things that he's doing. person. Emotional intelligence. So it is just all showing you in detail how amazing and adapted and evolved our brains are to be able to look at these simple dots and patterns and know that's a human because it's really important that our brains are able to do that. It's amazing how your brain adds, uh, creates so many assumptions and you can see so much. Oh, you're playing soccer. That's yeah. soccer. Yeah. That's really interesting. Even if you don't see the full human, you can like tell the action that was happening. That's some yoga life. <laughs> so to make quickly make assumptions so you don't have to sit there thinking about every little thing and you can just understand your environment in an instant. It was awesome. I could not. It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. It, a, wearing these is super cool. I feel like superheroes. We feel like we're in a movie. It tucks everything in. But seeing the actual experience of the stuff up on the screen and recognizing how little was necessary was really awesome. So now we're gonna train my brain to make some new assumptions with this little rig we've got going. So yeah, this is obviously a fake hand, if you <laughs> couldn't tell, and this is Mitch's real hand, and if I touch the same parts of the fake hand as his real hand, I'm actually able to trick his brain to actually have a new experience, and then he'll make some different weird assumptions and essentially start to feel things in this Ooh. fake hand. And also the fingers are attached to my fingers, so I kind of can create the sensation that I'm in control of this hand. I can't see my hand at all, so oh my gosh, that's so weird. As I'm looking at it now, it's starting to feel like that he's actually touching my hand and that this is what's feeling the sensation since I, ew, what are you doing? Oh, oh that's so weird. Okay, so we've been doing this long enough that I <laughs> honestly like, I know in my brain it's not really my hand, but there's something about it that it just, I, I don't feel, I feel like I have, I've projected my physical touch onto this hand. It's, ah! Oh my God, what is wrong with you, Greg? <laughs> did it really have your real hand? It did, okay. It scared me. It didn't, I didn't, when you stabbed it, I didn't feel it. Like I didn't okay. feel that sensation, but I had the fear that it was going. So I feel like that anticipation of pain, I felt. But then obviously I didn't feel like you stabbed my hand with an exacto knife. It also felt really crazy. good for me. It felt like I was stabbing you, which was kind of fun. <laughs> wow, cathartic release for Greg. Wow, that was really amazing. Uh, I highly suggest, this is such a simple rig if you guys at home, if you can, this is just like a Halloween fake hand. We got a cardboard box, just attach these fishing with wire. like fishing wire. Um, so absolutely I recommend just trick your brain. You have to hide your own hand and, and make this set up and you could do it at home. Now it's time for This, this Week, week in, in Science, Science Talk. Talk. The idea that wearing strong perfume can attract mosquitoes may be a myth. Researchers studying effective alternatives to DEET found that Victoria's Secret's bombshell perfume was actually almost as good as its DEET counterparts. But don't go running to the shopping mall because Victoria's Secret bombshell perfume costs about 50 US dollars, whereas DEET repellent is usually only around $10. And if you actually wear this scent, you're probably used to people fleeing because it smells really bad. Some good news for our closest relatives, the chimpanzees. 98% of our DNA is the same as our primate relative, and the National Institute of Health has decided to stop their biomedical research on chimpanzees. As a result, 50 chimpanzees are scheduled to be released to animal sanctuaries. With no nutritional attributes and the source of one third of all the sugar intake in the US, there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't be drinking soda. So here's another reason why. It's a huge waste of water. For every liter of soft drink produced, there's between 340 to 620 liters of water used to create it. Thanks for watching another episode of The Lab. You can follow us both on Instagram and Twitter by using our handles down here. Make sure you subscribe to ASAP Science for more science videos and we'll see you next Sunday for a new episode of The Lab. Bye.